What is up, garden friends? Welcome back. Got a great episode for you. I'm going to take you on a wonderful tour uh, of my classroom, show you what things are looking like right now. I've been preparing, been growing, been working and doing all this for about myself for the last year. I'm so excited to have the students back. They're coming in today. I'm juiced up for them. And so before they get here and, and start getting to work and doing uh, and kind of helping me out, I want to show you what things are like right now on day one for the students to return and then we can kind of take progress picks and see how things go over time, maybe? I don't know. So uh, I'll show you some stuff that we have. I'll show you all of our house plants. I'm gonna take you to the greenhouse for better or for worse. We'll go out in the back orchard really quick and I'll show you a couple of the landscapes we got going. So you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride because it's time to do some field tripping. So upon entering my classroom, you'll, of course you'll notice the very first aquaponics system that we built a few years back. You can see we've got some fish living in there, some bluegill and whatnot, and a few different freshwater fish. But what I did recently is I uh, changed this out. Normally that we design these for, for lettuce and herbs, but um, with the kids being gone for so long, I decided to propagate and grow some house plants in here and they are kicking butt. We've got some dumb cane and deep baki in there, some pothos, pothos. Um, and we've got some drosena in there that we took as cuttings and they're doing fantastic. Moving on, there's my desk over there. Oh my God, it's so messy, don't look at that. And there, oh, there's my old partner's desk. My, uh, my old coworker, he retired and he was just fantastic to work with and we miss him quite a bit. He's at home hanging out and enjoying himself and his, his family, I'm sure. Now, okay, anyhow, this is this was the, the latest and greatest one that we built. It was the third one. Well, you know, you can see we, we lost an uh, algae eater over the summer so the algae's taken over, but you know what? The fish don't mind. There's tons of fish in there, probably a dozen or so. They're doing really well. And same thing here. We've got a lot of house plants growing there. I turned the lights on a little bit just so you could see what it looks like when the lights are on. But same thing. This one's designed for house plants and for, for edibles. And so we, uh, we can grow edible food in here. We can grow ornamentals. Uh, it just They just grow fantastically. And like I said, here you go. Here's, here's the fish. They're doing great. They were actually really excited to see the students when they came back because like the kids love to feed the fish. That's like one of the things I think students just really get a kick out of. It's one of the first things they, they always want to do. Uh, and so the fish got fed quite a bit today. Like I said, you can see these guys over here on the backside. Check this out actually really quick. Look at that. If that doesn't blow your mind and just look cool. I don't, you know, look at that. that's cool. It's in there just breathing, sucking on the, on the wall there, but pretty cool. So you can see we got some work to do. That's called a mosaic right there, but not finished. We need to get some more. I need some more of this blue tile and more of that pink tile. If anybody can put in the comments any suggestions on where I can get some for, for cheap, I would, I would love to hear that. Um, over here, you can see we've I kind of did this while the kids were gone where I took, we, I was sold a bunch of these Monstera last year, right? As we were, everything was wrapping up, wrapping up. But uh, the ones that remained, I kept as mother plants and we started dividing them and now they're kind of just barely starting to regrow. I've also got some ferns up there. A little drosanas up there. I started taking some cuttings off of some spider plant, some pothos. Um, look at the, here we got, here we got some, the American evergreen. It's a beautiful little plant. Got a ton of those. No shortage. As you can see, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yep. There's the monstera baby. Woo! All right. So then I got a bunch of little cuttings and divisions over here. So you can see my collection over here. We got some peperomia, more pothos. Um, actually, a few, a few little palms, like areca palms, and a few little palm varieties couple different varieties of peperomia a variegated one right there got a variegated drosena right there I, I took his cuttings that they're in some vermiculite right now so I'll make a whole video on that but I think we're gonna be successful with those we've got uh, some peace lilies here some spathophyllums actually even a rubber plant or two like I said a couple different varieties of peperomia lots and lots of goodies and look the, look how crazy these ones that the uh, have been growing and they're literally just sitting in like a like a half a cup of water <laughs> they, they need they need some more love but without a whole heck of a lot they've actually thrived so it kind of shows you what's possible all right so things are looking good right here i've got some great little cuttings that we took here you know i can't, I can't think of the name on these because i did the first time i started growing this variety but um, i'll have to find that out they're really pretty um i, I they're a little trailer they grow kind of slow, but they're, they're just now starting to, I think, take off. These were all, when I bought all these, they were all just in one container. It was just a, you know, it was like a, like an $8 plant or whatever. And then, so I got in there and gently kind of pulled them all apart and now they're doing good. So in here, I took some cuttings today of some snake plant. Like I said, there's more draw Santa there. There's a weeping fig back there, a little ficus, but yeah, they're doing pretty good. Those little cuttings should do great. Um, 
You can see we got more more snake plant there, and then of course I got some cuttings that I had taken from uh, the, the ferns. They're just and those are going to actually look really cool once they get filled out a little bit better. They just offer um, great texture once their foliage fills out. And hard to see, but I'm like, oh, there we go. Look at that, baby. We're growing these. What Swiss cheese plant is the common name, and they're just really cool. People love them. They go, is that how it's supposed to be? That's what someone said to me earlier today. It's like, yeah, that's those are freaky, and that's what I kind of like about plants is. They're there. Sometimes they look a little weird, but you can see I got a fiddle leaf fig here um, that we got, I think just last year. I got it repotted into a bigger pot. And now it's, I think with that more space, it's gonna do so much better. It's already, already, already filled out some leaves. Oh my gosh, now look at this, my back storage area. I'm not even gonna show you that. Ugh, that needs a lot of work. That's probably not, I, I have a lot of weaknesses as, a, as an individual and uh, being organized like that is um, something I, I always need to work on. Always need to work on keeping things clean and organized. So you can see here, we have a nice hydroponic tower reservoir at the bottom, and we actually use some organic nutrition um, to fertilize it, which is really cool. So all organic hydroponic tower, and this thing is, I mean, I mean it's killing it. It's just doing so good. Uh, talk about low maintenance. I think I add water like once every couple weeks, add a little bit of nutrition, super easy. <laughs> no pulling weeds. <laughs> None of that, and uh, the plants actually I've noticed are doing really good. The one thing they're just that they don't get enough of is just um, light. I mean, they're over here in the corner a little bit. I mean, my my room does get pretty good, but um, that's just the one thing holding them back is just more space. But you can see even the snake plant is just killing it. Just it's like stuffed in there. I actually got to pull some of these out and 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 re repot them. You can see actually like the one that isn't doing that great is the um, the spider plant, right? And they do great. They're they're, they're a hard to kill plant. They're doing fine, but Compared to like your spathophyllum, your peace lily, and compared to your snake plant, it, it, it requires a bit more sunshine to really fill out and be healthy is what I've noticed. Compared to a lot of the house plants that we do grow, the spider plant, this one right here, it tends to be a little bit more resilient to getting uh, more intense light. And it, it kind of does a little better um, with a bit more intense light, but it can you know, survive lower light. But compared to the other ones, yeah, it really needs more. Whereas, uh, like I said, the snake plant, the spathophyllum actually do pretty darn good in low light. Um, there you go. So then we got some more plants over here. You see, I got a bunch of new pots um, that we're really loving. Actually, they're really affordable. Got those at um, Green Acres, not to give them a unpaid plug, but pretty affordable little pots. A couple bucks for these smaller ones, and they they've been doing the trick. They're real pretty, I think. Anywho, so we got some more rubber plant. You can see all these goodies in here. We've got growing, and I'm just really excited to have to divide more and to have the kids come take care of these. Um, got a beautiful plant right here and I just took a cutting off this one look at this guy it's almost like a speckled leaf I'm seeing these go getting sold online in the marketplaces like people want those like crazy but anywho I'm almost done almost done appreciate you guys hanging with me you see a nice big weeping fig there just a beautiful uh, ficus benjamina tropical tree just does great I remember seeing one like 30 40 feet tall when I was visiting Hawaii and I was like wow that is way bigger than the one in my classroom but check this out. So same thing, this, this is designed to grow lettuce and herbs, um, controlled environment. It's an aquaponic system. This was the first one we built. And it's been, we've really learned a lot on this first one. They've got some redfin tin foils there. This is actually our friendly tank. Um, like you could put a little fish in there and know those big guys, even though they look a little sassy, they're actually really nice. Um, they have great personalities. Now, um, they'll call you on your birthday. No, they're, they're just they're just cool little fish. And uh, actually, we, they're quite big. They're probably about seven inches or so, give or take. Some of them are bigger than others. But uh, when we put them in there, they're about half an inch to an inch long. So they've, they've really grown and done quite well. And I don't think we've lost a single one since they've all been put in there. But in here, you can see that, look at this. Um, we took some cuttings, sliced them, and just stabbed them right into the gravel. But look at this one. It grew up, went right through there. <laughs> and now it's growing up and almost going to go to the second level. So. This, you can see they actually, they're growing faster in this system than, than the ones that I have that are just in soil. So uh, they're definitely, something, something's happening right there. They're getting a proper amount of oxygen, nutrition, water, all of it. They're doing really well. That's deep in Bakia dumb cane. And I, like I said, I typically don't grow this in our aquaponic systems, but you know, we, we kind of made some changes while we were gone for so long. So I didn't want to have to keep harvesting lettuce in here for students not to be here to, to cook with it, enjoy it and utilize it. But anywho, yeah, so that, that's the classroom right there. Let me get a back another look at it as I go out the back door. And so the classroom's looking really good. That's my classroom tour. 
Um, you know what? I'll cut this one short and I'll, and I'll do a I'll do a greenhouse tour on another video, and I'll and I'll do an orchard tour on another video as well to talk about what things are going on in both those locations, because uh, there's just too much there's just too much going on. Dude. This would be like a 30 40 minute video if I worry about all that. Oh, look at this! There's our cloning box, and this just does killer. I'll do you show you a quick 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 view. So this for the students, you guys, we use this, and it basically holds their stems in darkness. And then they get sprayed by misters. But look, none of those had roots. A couple weeks back, now they're good to go. And we put those in soil and get them planted. A lot of succulent cuttings waiting for students. You come show up, we'll plant these. These are all just waiting. And I actually planted probably a hundred or better last week. But anyhow, that's the class. I hope you guys are eager to come back to school for those of you who are my students. For those of you who are just uh, friends of the channel and watching, I am so thankful that you are here watching it. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell, we, we, it just really means a lot and it would help me as an independent, uh, you know, uh, little builder of content um, for me to just keep going. But from our garden to yours, I hope you're having a great day and, and I hope that you, if you're a student, you are excited to get back to school and back to learning because truly it's all about you and your time here is about investing in yourself. So that way you can go live out the dreams that you want to see. All right. So from our garden to yours, happy gardening, best wishes, and I'll see you next time.